All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install a localhost 5M server. This is going to be a localhost only, not port forwarded. If you want to port forward your server, I would go through your internet provider to find the details on how to do that. So what you want to do first is click on the very first link in the description and it should bring you up to this page here. This is where you're going to find your 5M server build. So you can either go here and choose one out specifically or what I would recommend is just click this big blue button that says latest recommended. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open up the folder and then you're going to want to go up and find a folder that you want to install your server to on your computer. For me, I'm going to be doing it into 5M server tutorial. So what you want to do is control A all the files in here, drag them over to your server. And there you go. Then you can go ahead and close out everything else. Now with the files here, you're going to want to scroll down until you see fxserver.exe. Go ahead and double click on that to open. Click allow. And there you go. This is what should happen when you run your server. You're going to want to click link account. Click continue. You're going to want to make a password. And once you're here, you're going to want to follow my steps very carefully. So click on next. You're going to want to choose a name for your server. For me, I'm going to be doing tutorial. You're going to want to click on popular there. And that's just going to be the easiest one for new developers. And then here's where you're going to choose your actual build of the server. So you can do regular 5M default, which has just base resources, basically just runs the server and nothing else. You have to add everything else yourself. Or you could choose an ESX or QB Core framework. ESX and QB Core are economy frameworks, meaning that there's like money involved, garages where you store vehicles, you can buy vehicles, more business and more role play. For this tutorial, I'm going to be choosing a CFX default 5M server. And here you can choose where you want your server to be installed to. But as it says here, we strongly recommend using the path suggested below. So I'd prefer just to keep it here. Just go ahead and keep on clicking next. And here's where things get a little more difficult. It's going to provide you with a link here. And once you click on that, it should bring you up to a website called Keymaster 5M. You're going to want to log into the same CFX account that you used to log into the TX admin. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to go ahead and click on new server. For this, you're going to want to put in your server name. So I'm going to put the same name I put in. So 5M tutorial. I'm not a robot. And then you click on generate. And it's just as simple as that. Go ahead and copy this CFX key. Go back to your TX admin and paste it in there and run receipt. You should open up a folder where you can access the resources of your server. Click on next. This is going to be your server config. Go ahead and just click save and run. And that's it. Now you have a fully functioning 5M server with base resources. Now to load into your 5M server, you're going to want to open up 5M. And right underneath the play button, there should be something that says connect to your computer name on LAN. Once you click on that, it should automatically connect you to the server you just created. Keep in mind, you can only connect to this server while you have this console open. So just remember that in case you get confused on why you can't connect to your server. Most of the time, it's going to be because you don't have this console open. Just to remind you guys how to open it, you're going to want to go back to the file that you made and where you installed your 5M server to. Double click on FX server once again, and that should open up the console. I also recommend bookmarking your TX admin website just because it can get confusing on where to find it sometimes if you don't know the link by heart or if you don't have the link saved somewhere. It's just simpler just to bookmark it. And here we go. It's as simple as that. Now you're in a 5M server with nothing in it besides the base resources. And if you guys want to learn how to install resources to the server, go ahead and watch my next video. It'll be in the link in the description. Other than that, have fun.